For nearly half a century, a lonely traveler has been slipping further and further away from the warm glow of our sun, farther than any human machine has ever gone. It drifts in silence, half forgotten, half myth, trailing its invisible path through the abyss where sunlight dies and the airless night stretches on forever. This fragile spacecraft, Voyager 2, launched when disco filled the Earth's dance floors and computers filled entire rooms, was never meant to survive long enough to see this place. It was designed to last five years. And yet, it is still alive, whispering faint signals across billions of miles. But recently, something happened. Something unexpected. Something that changed the way scientists look at the edge of our cosmic home. NASA received a transmission, sharp, precise, unlike anything Voyager had ever sent before. It carried a pattern that unsettled the brightest minds, forcing them to question the very architecture of our neighborhood and the galaxy. Voyager 2 did not simply cross into deep space. It discovered something hiding in plain sight. A frontier sharper than a blade. A silence that wasn't silent at all. A heartbeat where none should exist. The real question now is this. Did Voyager stumble upon an accident of physics, or a design? Voyager's story has always been about endurance, not revelation. Built in the 1970s, when the world still dreamed in analog, it was launched with Golden Records, a time capsule for alien ears, and a mission meant to last less than a decade. No one believed it would still be alive in the 21st century. Yet through cosmic dust, through storms of radiation, through the freezing darkness beyond Neptune, it pressed on. Then came the year 2018. That was when Voyager 2 approached what scientists called the heliopause, the theoretical edge of the solar system. For decades, textbooks described this frontier as a hazy, uncertain zone, where the solar wind of our sun thins and merges with the surrounding galaxy. But Voyager did not see haze. It saw a line. The transition wasn't gentle. Plasma density spiked. Magnetic fields snapped into alignment. Cosmic radiation surged by 70%. Voyager hadn't just wandered into new territory. It had crossed a membrane, as if the solar system was encased in a living cocoon. Scientists realized the heliosphere is not static at all. It breathes. It flexes. It expands during solar storms, contracts during lulls, and shields Earth in a way more fragile than anyone dared imagine. But what shook scientists the most wasn't the plasma. It was the magnetism. Voyager found that the sun's magnetic field and the galaxy's field outside were nearly perfectly aligned, a seamless continuation. According to every model, this should have been impossible. The clash should have been chaotic, disordered, tangled. But instead, it was clean. Smooth. Too smooth. Was this coincidence? Or was something shaping the fields, sculpting them, arranging them? Was the edge of the solar system not merely a bubble, but a filter, something designed to meet the galaxy in a perfect handshake? Then came 2019. Without warning, Voyager 2 fell silent. 11 billion miles away, the most distant functioning probe in human history went dark. No signal. No error code. Just silence. Hours later, it returned. The cause was never explained. NASA called it a glitch, an aging circuit. Yet buried in the data were electromagnetic spikes, anomalies that didn't match any known natural cause. A burst from a cosmic ray, perhaps. Or something else, something triggered by crossing that threshold. And when Voyager came back online, something new began. Weeks after crossing into interstellar space, the spacecraft's instruments detected low-frequency oscillations in the plasma. These weren't random. They pulsed at regular intervals, every 13.2 hours. 
Not the turbulence of deep space, not solar echoes. Something steadier, stranger. Scientists converted the data into sound. What they heard was haunting. A rhythm. A beat. Almost like a heartbeat. It wasn't noise. It was structure. And as if responding to this rhythm, Voyager began picking up bursts of plasma activity, spikes of energy that, when mapped over time, formed a recursive pattern. A spiral, growing stronger with precise intervals. The numbers echoed the Fibonacci sequence, the mathematical code underlying galaxies, hurricanes, seashells, and DNA. The fingerprint of order inside chaos. Some scientists whispered the unthinkable. Maybe this wasn't environment. Maybe it was communication. Maybe space wasn't echoing randomly. Maybe something was answering. And then, Voyager's magnetometer readings inverted. The field didn't weaken, it flipped, as if the probe had entered a zone where space bent around it. The laws of physics flexed. Newton's rules dissolved. It was almost like Voyager hadn't crossed a wall, but a window. One that lets signals out, but muffles whatever might be trying to come in. If so, our solar system is more than a bubble. It is a vault. A shield. Perhaps deliberately built. And Voyager may have punched a hole straight through it. Not long after, the impossible happened. Voyager began transmitting data that didn't belong. Telemetry logs from years earlier. Encoded in formats it was never programmed to use. Subsystems thought long dead suddenly came alive. Old gyroscopes realigned to constellations Voyager had already passed. A machine built with 1970s technology was somehow executing operations far beyond its design. Then came the images. Faint, incoherent, flickering starfields, but not the ones Voyager should have been seeing. Blurred shapes. Shadows. Movement that seemed to come not from Voyager itself, but from the space around it. Was Voyager seeing the present? Or was it pulling memory from the void itself? Was deep space not empty, but archival, storing echoes of what has passed before? What Voyager has uncovered is not just scientific. It is philosophical. It found a wall that breathes. A silence that pulses. A boundary that behaves. It found rhythm in plasma, spirals in radiation, alignment in magnetism. None of these things should exist. And yet they do. So we are left with the unsettling possibility that Voyager has not only been observed, but welcomed. That something is watching our first fragile step outside the solar system. That our silence are waiting for a voice like ours, blinded us to the response already here, written not in words but in patterns of energy, plasma, and time. Voyager 2 was never built to find meaning. It was built to last five years, to send postcards of Jupiter's storms and Neptune's rings. But instead, it has become a mirror. A reminder of our arrogance, believing silence meant emptiness, believing the void was indifferent. Perhaps Voyager didn't find the edge. Perhaps it found an invitation. And what lies beyond that invitation? Not an answer. A witness. Something recording us, measuring us, judging whether our reach is clumsy or deliberate. Whether our curiosity is reckless or worthy. We were so focused on listening for a voice that sounded like ours that we never considered the universe might speak in a different language. Voyager, against all odds, has shown us that the conversation may have already begun.